This is just a video showing you how to use Carista. It's just a short demonstration on a VW Volkswagen T6 Caravelle, which is the same as a transporter. So first of all, what you need to do is make sure you've got your device connected to the OBD. So you pair a new device, it says Carista. You, if you've got another one that's a third party one, that's fine as long as it connects. So we'll connect to the Carista one. It's asking for a pin code. So let's try four notes. As you can see it's connected and it's showing up there previously connected devices so I'll go back I've got Carista on my device so I'll click on the Carista app this will search for it now by pressing connect I click on Carista but if you've got a different adapter that's compatible then you've been clicking on like Bluetooth or Wi-Fi Elms 327 I mean you can try a few of them and sometimes it does connect so there's no harm in trying so I'll click on Krista anyway it says Krista there showing up I'll click on that As you can see it's connected, it's showing VIN number, voltage, 14.4 volts, which is okay. It says diagnose, customize, service, live data. As you know live data is for the engine while it's running and stuff. And services like you want if you perform a, a, a reset on your service. And customization is for, custom, you know like doing a few extras like making your mirrors fold if it allows it stuff like that or the windows going on or having your lights staying on longer and whatever so we've got diagnose I can click on diagnose that'll do a check but I'm sure this, I'll go into service just to show you how it is So this is if you wanted to reset the service indicator on the dash. So this is for diesel particulate filter, if you wanted to check your sub content. That says 2773 or 27.73 which is quite high. If I click on regen, it'll take about 4 or 5 minutes to warm up to get to the required temperature and then the regen will kick in even though it does state regeneration has started so anyway we'll go back and I can click on emissions test so everything's ready on there I don't want to reset anything so just go back there's my service indicator at the top. It's asking me which one do I want to reset the oil service, the inspection service, which you get on the VW dashes. I don't want to reset anything at the moment. This is just a demonstration. So we'll go to customer's eyes. So it's scanning the vehicle for the options. As it says, make sure the ignition's on. You'll see warning lights on the dash. I've actually got the vehicle running.
I've got to touch the screen again before it goes on to sleep mode. Now it's showing you different options on this vehicle, like it says beats at all the chassis and engine, dings, warnings, driver assistant, instrument displays and nav, instrument language and units, lights, bulbs, checks, lights, lights again, lights, exterior, interior, your central locking, if you want your central locking to beep, locking doors and alarm. Mirrors, parking sensors, trunk, windows and sunroof, wipers, washers, others. So I'll go back to the top there. It says beater only. I'm going to chassis and engine. It's saying tyre pressure monitoring service. Enabled. I can disable the other brake pad warning light. Uh, dings and warnings driver assist automatic driveway after short stop requires adaptive cruise control whatever it's disabled I'm just showing you go back So you can have needle sweep and it starts up where your needle just switch from left to right. You can have a start screen logo on your stereo, that is. It's probably VW or whatever they offer it. You can change the sensitivity on your microphone when you're using it, you know, for making a call and stuff or voice. Multifunction display enabled, oil temperature enabled. That's in your multifunctional display where you can see oil temperature and fuel and stuff. You can change the USB configuration to charge and only charging data. But I'd only use these settings if you know what you're doing. Because you can easily code something and mess it up. So it just wouldn't be advisable just to do trial and error and then you've got an issue going on. And it becomes a fault. Language and units. I've got instruments cluster set to Australia this is so I've got the digital speedo on the dash so if you were to code in like digital speedo on your vehicle on your T5 one or T6 or other Volkswagen vehicles you'd go in these options and click on Australia and save languages in English Both checks. This is what I was on about before the coming home lights, leaving home, etc. Daytime running lights, allowing configuration running lights via dash display. It just goes on. So you got exterior lights, 
or lane chain turn signal enable auto flasher this one there you can change the flashes so when you do your indicator that lightly and it flashes for three times or four times whatever you want Turn on interior lights, etc. Key taken out of the ignition. That's to do with your central locking. Same again with your central locking. Locking doors automatically. Okay, we've just been in that one. Activate side mirror heaters when rear window defroster is on. That is so when you've put on your rear demister to demist the window at the back, the side the heater mirrors will be enabled. Parking sensors, if you've got camera rear view, camera enabled, parking sensors, the volume and stuff. Front parking sensor, different beeps. Trunk unlock when the doors are unlocked. Yeah. Windows and sunroof if you've got a sunroof. Wipers and washers. And we'll go to others. Horn works even when the ignition is off. Which is ideal if you see someone reversing into you and haven't got the key in the ignition. You can just press your horn to alert them. Enable smart key buttons when the ignition is on. Which is I believe probably the, the stereo buttons on there. Not the stereo buttons, the steering wheel buttons. Stay active. And if everyone's like wondering what's in beta. I'll go there. Beta is like a testing program where you know you click on whatever option you check it like it says washer fluid warning enabled and then once you've enabled it they want you to send feedback and stuff so this is all beta Go back there. So that's about it, really. This app should work on Volkswagens, Audi, Sia, and Skoda. Possibly Porsche and Lamborghinis. Anything that really that Volkswagen manufacture. But what I did find in this app was that it was giving me the option for the DPF regen and on Carly it didn't on the Volkswagen. And I have used the DPF regen on this app and it works great. So that's it really, you've got your menu settings here, like kind of customer service, whatever, terms of use, the version, if you want to change it from dark mode to light mode, there, if you want to change language, which is ideal, if you want to report a problem, whatever, I'll click back on to connect, as we've already connected before. We'll just go straight into it. So that's it really in a nutshell. Hope this helps. 
and thanks for watching.